right guys welcome back to perfected doom 3 so let's continue on guys i got the cabinet code it's 0508 this merchant buddy years ago when the game first came out 0508 years ago when the game came out you actually had to look up online to get it anyway there was it wasn't actually in game so that gives us a chainsaw oh yeah that is what i'm talking about nipples are rock solid this will really help so, oh right, well that there fired, looked like it fired off more, like 10 rounds at once. That spins it up. I don't know what this does. I'll have to look it up and see, guys. But this will really help us with them fucking pinky demons, because the pinky demons weren't really that bad before the mod, but now they're really bad, so. Where are we at? Let's give it a quick save anyway. Why the fuck not, guys, out there? Why the fuck not? Nice armor. I'll oh, we'll take all of that. Thank you very much. And there's some here. We are still looking for director William Banks. Which I think is up this way. Oh, aye, there's that. Sweet. Whoa. Bravo Fuck. team reports there's some sort of unidentified growth taking over parts of the base. I don't know what it is, but it can't be good. Stay sharp. I don't see it. Armor. I think I'll come back for that armor, guys. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, fuck! What? <laughs> they aren't. They don't appear to way later in the game in the original. <coughs> Motherfucker. Fuck, I love this game, like, guys. It's so good. You should try it. Oh fuck, I didn't. He just appeared there. Do you see that? Oh my god. Just run around in circles. I don't think you can get by that zombie. Where did he go? Oh! Shotgun. Oh. What are these two doing? <laughs> they seem to... They seem to have bugged out. He's just running around in circles, is he? Uh, hi. How can the shotgun kill him in one shot from there? Sometimes it doesn't. How dark this room is, guys. This doesn't look promising, guys. What the fuck was going on in here? Jesus Christ! See me from what? I don't want to go in there. This is right there, William Banks. Well, we're definitely getting closer. Take the ammo. We're com are we completely out of med kits? Completely out of med kits, guys. Holy shit. Right, so let's go. What the fuck was that? What the hell? What the fuck is that? Oh, there's another one. Can't see him. The fucking blue fireballs. Alright, it's a bit unfair adding a whole pile of invisible monsters to the game. Fuck, it takes a lot of shotgun shells to kill them. Where's he at? What are you meant to do here? <laughs> what are you laughing at, mate? Hopefully that's us safe. I think we'll hide in here, guys, and take a reread of the director William Banks PDA. 
What is he? Administration? Director? Of the Alpha Labs? This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 20th, 2145. It has come to my attention that we have an alarming number of missing personnel throughout the base. My office has received four additional reports from Delta in the last week alone, mentioning that personnel are not reporting for work, and that calls to their quarters have gone unanswered. My office has sent the names of those personnel to Mars City Security, and they have promised to initiate an investigation. But this news is very disturbing, especially at a time when we have so many people in the infirmary suffering from sudden cases of schizophrenia and other psychological disorders. I hope there is no connection between those cases and these reports of missing personnel. This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 5th, 2145. It has been brought to my attention by environmental services that the recent power grid changes have caused many non-critical systems to malfunction. The report explains that this is due to either intermittent power outages or lower than optimal voltage input. It also says that sufficient power distribution to all non-critical systems is becoming more difficult to maintain thanks to Dr. Vitruger and his so-called optimizations to the energy stores in and around the facility. Of course. I assured the director of ES that I would file a report with central authority over this. And you know, I love the way that these audio audio files tell the story because you don't get to see it, you get to picture it in your head. That's what I really enjoyed about the way they told the story in this game. Religious artifacts, what dear director Banks? I need your urgent attention on this matter. It is very important to my research that all crates containing religious artifacts arriving from Earth with a co sign for Delta Labs go directly there with no interruption or delay. I can't have my precious cargo sitting around the hangar waiting for your personnel to process it. I expect your immediate attention on this matter. Dr. Kruger, this is Matthew White, dear Director Banks, research assistant Eric Raphael, Raphael has not reported for work at all this week. I have called his quarters repeatedly without response. No one has seen him in days and I don't know what to do. He is normally a very reliable individual. I've contacted Mars Security with the hope that they will try and find him. There are a lot of areas to go on this base, man. I hope he's alright. If you hear anything, I'll send word. We're happy to roll out the new corporate web page. Please take a moment of your time to review it. Farewell. See, even the emails tell a story, guys, that people are starting to lose their minds and disappear and stuff like even reliable people. And that's what I loved about the game, like. Oh, you fucking bastard! Hey. Why did you not die? Is that it? You just know it's not. Always check again, guys. Can't stress this enough. It's class why some of the monsters still stay. There was a medikit in here. Nice. That's a good time to quick save it. I can't even remember using all my medikits. Look at this place, like they really did paint a really nice setting in this game. Like, I love it guys, I swear to god. It's so gruesome. The motherfucker. He teleported right behind me. You just don't know what's around any corner. There's blood everywhere. It just really sets the scene. Oh my. The shotgun guys die pretty fast if we get a good clean shot on them. Ugh. I must have chucked through the window. I hate the way this flashlight does that, you know. It's really taking away from the immersion a bit. I didn't I didn't actually didn't mind holding the flashlight, you know, in the original Doom 3. I thought it really set the made the game a bit more dangerous. Nice, another med kit. More grenades and a PDA. Paul Simmons.
Network and login. Connecting. Error, error, error. Network connection failed. Alright. Nice shotgun shells. Did I pick up the grenades? How many have I bought now? Two. Fuck, I need to save them a little bit. Armor. Nice. Only give me 25, but I'll use it tonight. Let's have a wee look at this. Some more fucking PDA already. Paul Simmons. User data. Album of network security status. This is Paul Simon, security specialist in IT. Our network security has been breached several times over the last few days. Now, it looks like it may have been going on longer than that, but whoever did this really knew what they were doing. They covered the tracks really well. I just happened to notice some log anomalies, or it would still be going on. The intrusion came on an encrypted carrier signal from the Delta complex. They piggybacked the virus on one of the supercomputer requests and it peeled itself from the data stream once it was inside our firewall. Someone on the inside there has to be responsible. Unfortunately, due to security in that complex, I can only tell it came from within Delta. There's no way to identify which machine or even which lab it came from. Whoever was in our system had access to all personal data, including medical reports. My team will be monitoring the network closely in the next few days, looking for anything unusual. End of log. Probably protruder. Network breach. We have been unable to find any problems with the network test that we ran on your system. Everything checks out at our end. Your firewall seems to be functioning properly. Other IT managers have reported similar intrusions in their network. Humor of doing this is must be good or someone with very high level security clearance. We will continue to scan the network and if anything odd appears, we inform you immediately. Email spam. The email spam lately is getting out of control. The worst company is that merchant buddy. Load of yada 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 yada. Load of, load of Alex. Ammo everywhere, like there's no shortage of it. Like, I think the plasma gun, guys, someone's in an imp or someone's in something to fight for you. This is where he threw the the box at me. Ah, I shouldn't have did that. Health is still vital, and I lost a bit of it doing that. Oh, he's dead now. Oh yeah, where are we going to? Alpha Labs 1. Right guys, I'll catch you after the loading screen. Dummy Arigato! Let's just do this. I've received oh, a report no. that you haven't reached I'll Bravo have to type it in. I need to pick up the pace. Reaching the communication facility quickly is imperative. Put my mic here and everything. I usually have that copied. I don't know if I can copy it. Yeah, no, you can't. Well, that's it said. I don't know if this is if it's staying veteran or not, but I'm not taking the chance because it could get too easy. This doesn't look promising. What? Will this die? Two shotgun shells. They're new as well. Just skeletons. Maybe they're bugged out. Maybe it's just a glitch. Oh, that's gruesome looking in it. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Fucking headshots are very effective against zombies. That is for sure. Full on armor, we'll take the health though. Quick save it. Nice. The UAC takes pride in its safety record. Please follow UAC procedures. Okay. Right, what the hell was that? Ah! <laughs> oh, the chain gun routes, guys. Be nice if it shared ammo with a machine gun as well. I suppose it wouldn't do really, but wouldn't it? Right, I hear somebody take a deep breath there. Shh. Fuck me. Perfect. 
Lovely. The fuck was that? See how quickly he killed me there, like. Fuck you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Everywhere, like but long range here, and that might might stick with us for a bit. Doesn't that way we can go that way? Fuck me! They're spawning everywhere. Enjoying this, I really am. See what modders can do, it's unreal. I think chain gun here, guys. I keep loading the screen and getting lost. All right, we'll save it here. Took a bit of damage there, but I'm not complaining, it's all done. That was a bit better. Oh, what the fuck? I think I'll load that, I got hit by that plasma beam there. That's a waste of health. Nice. Alright, well I'm gonna need a PDA for that. There's gonna be one in here then. Jesus Christ. There's something there. Oh, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? Mods also can really fuck the game up, right? Let's quick save it. Check this PDA. That's three in one goal, Kyle Berger. Audio log for Kyle Berger, research supervisor. What a name. The project. Uh, the, uh the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational, and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the core committers in the chamber, and witnesses say he appeared to see something. It was almost like uh, something was talking to him, and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. Fuck. It was not a pretty sight, as it took off the backside of his head. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure you could consider that living. But they say his eyes rolled back and forth, and he was trying to talk, although after losing that much brain matter, I'm sure it was his reflex actions. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab, and we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. Code for the cabinet is 752. 
Nice. More grenades. But did that give me four now? No, it just give me the one. Must be a bit stronger. Check his email. EPT status. Everything is going exceptionally well as we prepare the EPT for the next round of tests. Right product is setting up the baseline now and we should be able to start testing later this afternoon. If your schedule allows, please feel free to join us down here in the lab around 2 o'clock. Should be exciting. Chamber status. The maintenance of the maintenance team has just finished cleaning the EPT collection chamber. All bio matter has been scrubbed from the area. Must be your man's brain matter. Chief Scannell also confirms the clean sector as per your request. 14 collection cones and 5 trays has also been replaced. Please be sure to stop by maintenance as we will need your signature for the parts requisition forms. That's gruesome like that, it's just a bad way to go. Let me go out this door. Ah! The fuck? <laughs> Warning, EPD laser active. Love it. Ah, I knew it was going to get uh, here winding up. Let it go and then I'll go. Didn't take the back off my head. What the fuck was that? Jesus, just sitting there waiting on me. Rash stuff, boys. Fucking hands are sweating and everything, and they better reload this shotgun. <laughs> he got really close there. I thought I was gonna get hit by him. It was my good aiming. Medicut. Listen to the music, guys. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Jesus fucking Christ. And then someone just laughs at me at the end of it all. As if this is just a big joke. Look at the set in that rocks thing. Something else there. I can hear it. Maybe they are meant to be in the game. What are they meant to be then there? Get this reloaded. Give it a quick save. Turn it in an R sawn off. Doesn't look like we can go that way. I don't like the look of this. 
Stop banging. Jesus. What took a head clean on nearly? Fuck me, how many PDAs is there? Jack Smith. HR accident Audio report. Audio log for Jack Smith, a benefits analyst in HR 1024-2145. I just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The most serious incident was one John Hughes, whose hand was caught in one of the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket managed to activate without an apparent power source and uh, shredded his arm up to the elbow before someone got him out. Jesus Christ. It's been reported that the uh, machine is still running and we can't shut it down. So the cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but this is just one in a pile. Uh, we're going to overrun our budget on benefits payout this quarter. And while it's not my department, I have to assume that the new equipment budget is going to be blown out as well because, uh, according to these reports, the equipment's breaking down on a daily basis. Please mark this for review at corporate end of log. What is going on in this place like? New safety protocol in light of the recent increase of work related accidents in Alpha Lab, we feel it is necessary to implement a body system. Very good. When routine maintenance is being performed on some of the heavier equipment, we feel this should cut down some of the claims being filled in your apartment. Please go get back to me and let me know if you have any ideas how to keep Alpha Labs as safe as it can be. Thank you. Body system, please tell me EAC Copper is kidding. How the hell is the body system going to do anything with an accident claims except double them? <laughs> he has a point like, tell me how a body system would have prevented Joe Torso Boy Moss from having his arms and legs hacked off by the Albuquerque Capacitator? What the fuck's an Albuquerque Capacitator? <laughs> Maybe his body would have here to thing ground and engage without power or CRF module? Maybe his body hair, body's hair would have burst into flames instead and saved us from the trouble of needing to run and find water to put him out. Next thing they'll do is try to fix the problem by having us fill out more MRA forms or re-forecast our ODF. People aren't happy. Full on machine gun ammo. Gas leak stopped. Fire extinguished. Nice. Looks like we can go back out that way then. We're coming up in the near time anyway, maybe a couple of minutes yet. There's a medikit. Oh, I should have picked that up. For fuck's sake, that was a waste there. Should have used it and then picked it up. Tons of shotgun shells, 128 like. Just use this thing as a machine gun now. Ah, oh, no. Nice. What the fuck? Nice and arm medikit. They're fucking being good this. Go around this corner guys, see what's around here and then we'll call a video. I'm very close to half an hour. What the fuck's going on here? What? <laughs> oh fuck me. What? Running for a fight? Ah! Die, damn it, die. Oh. Try it again. Couldn't find the right gun there. Had grenades out at one point. This is the right gun for this. Man. 
Remember, they're called maggots. I think we'll back into that corner here, guys. And why is he showing the shotgun? Ah! Uh, even that didn't work. Nice. I will use a medikit here. That's us really low now. Go to quick save, guys, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Until then, take care.